Catherine Cram was owner and publisher of the Washington Post. It became one of the most important newspaper in America when she was in charge. Catherine was born in a rich family. Her father brought the Washington Post when it was the least popular newspaper in Washington. Catherine and her husband started working for her dad. Soon Catherine's dad gave her husband the paper. He made the paper better. Sadly, he treated Catherine not that great. He ended up dying and leaving with her four kids and a newspaper. She wasn't confident about running a newspaper, but she wanted to keep it in the family. It was very rare for a woman to be the head of business. 1963. The Washington Post started to do investigations and reporting. It became famous after reporting on two big stories. The first story was about Americans' involvement in the Vietnam War. The Washington Post wanted to be published secret government documents known as the Pentagon Papers, but the government tired to stop Catherine Graham from doing that. She decided to take a risk of punishment and published them anyway. The next story was about five men arrested from breaking into a place called Watergate. The Washington Post heavily investigated the breaking. They found that President Niskin was behind the Watergate breaking. He wanted to get information to use against his opponents. The newspaper got a Pulitzer Prize for reporting on the Watergate scandal. Catherine Cram was the first woman to head a major American company. She was a very influential woman. She died in 2001 and was known to be brave and smart.